This is the Behringer clone of the ARP 2500 multi-mode filter, module 1047, also known as the Collin filter after its designer. And for this demonstration, we're going to go through the four outputs, and we've got just a noise input. So let's turn up the input and sweep the filter. And we'll have that done automatically by this triangle wave as we change the resonance. The resonance gets pretty high pretty quickly. And it's virtually oscillating on its own now although not quite. If we take away that input, it doesn't oscillate. That's one of the special things about this filter is you could get really, really high cues or resonances. Input's virtually lost, uh, but without the input, it won't resonate. There's a limit switch which limits the outputs and prevents it from overloading. but pretty soon you pretty much can't hear the input. So that's the low pass filter. Band pass does what you'd expect it to. High pass. Just do a manual sweep there. It's the fine control. Turn up the resonance a little bit. and add in triangle modulation. Again, without an input, it won't oscillate. overloading at that point. You can see the overload light. And now let's jump back to the jump back to the notch output because this is pretty interesting. This controls the balance between high pass output and low pass output. And so it's a balance control. It says notch frequency, but it's really a balance control between these two outputs. So here, with a low resonance, we get our noise, and we get a, a nice phasing sound. Let's get that automatically from the LFO.
if you crank up the resonance, you get a tighter and tighter notch. Which is very interesting. In the limit mode. As you crank up the resonance, the input virtually disappears. If you move this all the way counterclockwise, you're back to your high pass output. And all the way clockwise, it's the low pass output. I like being able to balance these two because you can add back in some high end. Still get your resonance sweep, but you haven't lost all your high end. Now let's hit a few of those configurations with a sawtooth input. That's the full low pass. Get a little buzz going. And you can take that high pass and mix in a little bit more low pass. That's a straight high pass. And you can add back in some low pass, low end. It's a very versatile filter. I like it a lot. Uh, it's a nice implementation. I have heard the um, the CMS 1047 filter. Um, I'm not sure they sound exactly the same, uh, but this does a great job of filling the the niche of uh, high Q resonator uh, and versatile filter. Um, and just to complete this, let's go to band pass and straight high pass and low pass just for reference. And that's what this filter does really well. 
super high Q and without resonating. It's just picking out those harmonics. You have to back off the input a little bit to keep it from distorting. In limit mode. Again, unfortunately, the input all but disappears. But if you didn't want to have to ride this volume, and this is an original feature, this limit is an original feature of the filter. So that's the uh, demo of the Behringer clone of the ARP 2500 1047 Colin filter and uh, you can't beat the price the sound quality is good it feels good um, and although it may not be exactly the same as the original it uh, does a great job of again filling the same sonic space that the original did uh, it, it's a great tool to add to your Eurorack toolbox. And that's the demo. Thanks for watching.